6 o'clock in the morning and I am here in Las Vegas staying at the Encore Hotel Casino and I'm on my way to go meet a very talented electric unicycle rider hoping that he's going to be able to spend some time teaching me how to ride. First I got to find the rental car. I don't remember what the car looks like. Let's see. Ah, there we go. Woo! Minivan! This is Vache, and you guys may remember him from uh, some of my other videos from the other few times I've been here in Vegas. When I first met Vache and rode with him, he was an avid one-wheeler. I still ride one wheels, but I ride EUCs a little bit more now. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I still ride one wheels. Yeah, now the one wheel, I get on my one wheel every now and then for yeah. that nice like sideways feel. It's just a different, it's a different ride. It's it's amazing in its own world, you know? Yeah. I think everyone should experience both. I really do. I really do. But you can't beat the speed and range of, of an EUC. What we got right now, we're uh, making jump pads for Vache. We had other uh, jump pads made for him prior to, but he had a little bit too much play. Um, he was still playing with the idea of, of like uh, jumping initially, but now he's committed to the game and wants to get like so much better lock in. So we're gonna take some uh, exercise mat and uh, double sided tape. I'm committed to the game now, Vache. Yeah. I feel like we're uh, like at a fancy shoe store. You got the big mirror here so you can check. Oh, yeah, here, yeah. <laughs> Turn your head and cough. Yeah. <laughs> and the Russian pads are these right here. Those are the Russian. These are the Russian pads. Yep. And you want something more for the, the foot uh, and ankle. Yeah, I'm not. this angle is a huge gap. So then whenever you're standing on it, you have all that dead space. Okay. That dead space, I'd rather I'd rather uh, fill up. Fill up that potential space exactly. and use it to help get that locked in feeling. Exactly. Locked in, L-A-W. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Locked in. <laughs> we'll call them locked in pads. All right. All right, I'm, I'm the marketing man. Deal. <laughs> <laughs> Look, that little bit less amount of play it makes it more consistent and is this yeah. mirror here for your analysis to no, help you that's for oh, working out when you're working out okay and then I'm gonna have you stand on it and then get to your comfortable riding position let's so that's how you would end up okay these little surf pads I picked those up at uh, online it's uh, from punt surf a little wedge like that that you could just slap on that would be perfect because what happens is not everybody's jumping but at the same time if you're on like riding like a bad road or something like that it ends up getting bumpy and then when it's bumpy and you don't have pedal spikes or anything serious to lock you in then your your foot's going to be shifting mm -hmm. so if you can have something that you can just like really pinch your foot into just to understand or just to make sure and know that your foot's not moving around and is staying in place on bumps that's so much peace of mind for a lot of people it's a game changer. Uh, it makes it's a complete game changer. You're able to lock in, and you're able you're able to pop it as freely as you want, not having to worry about uh, not having to worry about like just losing your placement. Tell us uh, your your whole approach to to teaching and, so and for new riders. I like to put people put people out slightly outside of their comfort zone. I'm not the type to tell people to go fast because anybody can go fast. You're literally just leaning forward, and then if you weigh like less than 130 pounds automatically you're the best rider on the block because you can lean forward the hardest <laughs> <laughs> what, what really matters is learning how to ride technical and learning how to avoid like random random situations so if there's a rock on the ground what are you going to do about it are you going to try to get get out of the way are you going to try to learn how to hit the rock um are you going to learn how to jump i like to get people jumping um, first out of anything else just because with that you're able to handle curbs better uh, learning how to land is more important than jumping itself but so when I would teach people how to ride off of a curb it's just really learning how to soften the blow learn how to like squat during squat during the landing and really reduce the amount of uh, the amount of pressure on the wheel good there we go Jimmy jumping he's hopping there we go He's no longer a regular straight line rider now. Right. <laughs> Go this way? Yeah. Let's see if he can bring back his straight line skills. Oh. <laughs> Good. Nice. Oh my. Oh yeah. 
pivot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, no. <laughs> hey. <laughs> He's hopping. Oh, yeah. Here, get a little bit of speed and then see if you could hop a whole, uh, whole square. You can do it. Good, you're almost there. So, for example, nice. <laughs> uh, we were just cruising around. I was getting a feel for what your movement pattern was, what you could potentially do. Uh, and then I saw you I saw you cruising, so you were carving a little bit. I'm like, okay, let's see how much more you can carve. So I started, I started calling you out. Yeah, yeah. It's like, okay, start, let's, let's see how deep you can carve. Let's get you using, using your heels, stepping into the, yeah. into the wheel to really uh, get a better angle of movement. Um, in doing so, uh, it's just figuring out what you could potentially do because like okay your move your legs can potentially move like this let's see what you can what you can do if we make you try to jump if we if we try to make you uh, hop down a curb how do you handle with like the stress of it yeah um yeah. and you were you doing good i don't know but jump in this line yeah you're jumping that line That's right that there what they just did yeah okay oh yeah we got this you got it it's easy you jumped the manhole cover already that's right and that is what made me a man. <laughs> yeah. Oh! Your next challenge. Oh, yeah. He's a rock. Give me the jumper. He's got rocks. He got it. Easy. Put it again. Hop it again. Give it again. The good. Yeah, you did. Yeah, of course you did. Next is the curb. Let's, let's, let's watch him hop a curb now. The adrenaline is just pumping. Oh, for sure. But it's worth it. You're, dude, that was easy. Jimmy Chang. There you go. Curb jump master. You guys have my emergency contact information, right? <laughs> uh, sure, right now. Okay, let my wife know I love her. Uh -huh. ah! There you go. Easy. That was nothing, dude. <laughs> Easily cleared that. First curb jump ever. All right. Now let's send it over the parking block. Like, you, can, you can do that. Oh, over the parking? Yeah. You did, you did higher than that already. Do it, Jimmy. Pop it. Easy. Oh! No effort. Did I do it? Yeah, you did. I did. Yeah, it. You did. Good job. Woo! Easy. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Jimmy Chang. Wow. Jump champ. I'm feeling pumped up right now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he's got push-ups. Oh, push oh, oh dang. Oh, man. Two <laughs> minutes ago, I was totally scared of that thing. And now, it's a lot more comfortable. If there's somebody yes. who isn't ready for going past 20 miles an hour, I would never make them do that but if at, when they're at like maybe 10 15 in their happy place i'll push them it's like okay let's see if you can hit this little piece of gravel right here if you can do that little bit extra i usually ride by myself but just a few you know hours with these guys and i'm doing stuff that i never thought was possible jumping up curb yeah, yeah. so, yeah. so, so completely <laughs> different rider how long have you been riding uh so i've been riding maybe since last late june early july yeah, so about a year now. That's uh, crazy. Yeah, I started off with the 16S. I found a couple people out here riding and then started riding with them. Couldn't keep up with them because there was a Nikola and a Tesla. Those things, uh, I needed that little bit, of, little bit of boost, so I ended up ordering the uh, 16X. So when that came out, I was cruising on that thing, started riding technical, just started playing around with it, and now we're here hanging out with you in Vache. So we have one of our biggest traditions is Vache Land Track 1. Uh, there's a couple areas that we end up establishing as quote-unquote tracks where we just do little time trials doing uh, a certain amount of laps and then see who can get the hottest laps and the uh, best time. Uh, yeah, pretty much All we're right. going to have Jimmy try this out. I'm going to do it and uh, just to let you guys know, I'm not a racer and I'm not competing against anyone else but myself, okay? So whatever I get, I'm, I'm gonna be very happy, very yeah. pleased with myself. Three, two, one, go! Good start. Alright, that's not one. Definitely pushes you when you know there's a clock on. What was my time? Uh, 215. 215.94. I'm proud of that. I'm, I'm happy with that. We'll take it for now. <laughs> we're going to get you under two. We're going to see if Law can beat my time of 215. All right, ready, set, go. Woo!
Ooh, he's flying. It's gonna be a close one. I'm, I'm worried he's gonna beat my time. Last lap. Make it a good one. Woo. It's gonna be close. 146.45. What's your record time on this? I think that was the best one. Yeah. Setting records today. Both myself hey. and Law setting records. Yeah. These are EUC essentials. We got the pocket dump, the timber bell. We got masks. We've got charging cables. We've got uh, this little Nog LED light. You can easily just slip it around your uh, your phone and wallet holster or your shirt. We got a Crank Boys M10. Work on a wheel on the go, then we're good. Then we got the stuff. Power bank. And it's always good to have a nice knife. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow, and that, that came out ready to go. Yeah. Okay, track two. So it's like the... I feel like I'm playing Mario Kart. This is... Is this like the equivalent of Rainbow Road? Uh, what about you, Vache? What's your, your origin story with the EUC? Uh, well, I've been riding one wheels for a couple of years, and then I just got involved with the EUC back in like January. So, uh, yeah, about about eight months of riding. Loving yeah. every bit of it. Just mobbing you know? all over the place. Mobbing all over, it's getting around town. All right. So we just finished a intense training session here. Yeah. This guy's a jumper Law. now. Woo. Jumping nice. Jimmy. This guy is the professor, the <laughs> EUC professor. Let's just call him that right now. And uh, I ride. felt like I've, I've got a, a full on education, both on how to ride. And now I understand more about, you know, yeah. this crazy pads that we put on there. Yeah. And uh, just more about the, the wheels that we have. These guys are super awesome. If you're ever in Vegas visiting, um, when this COVID thing starts relaxing, uh, come out here, support these guys. For sure. And uh, give them a shout. We're nice, we won't scare you away.